third important concept is of environments. Environment is a great feature that enables you to test your changes before you publish them to a live server. You can set up multiple environment servers in Google Tag Manager. If your website uses a quality assurance process as it should or if you test your changes on a staging server before you publish them to a live server, then you should set up a environment corresponding to each server for your website in Google Tag Manager. In order to create an environment, click on Admin and then Environments. By default you see two environments here, Live and Latest. These cannot be deleted or published to manually. It is recommended that you create custom environments. A common naming convention for environments is as follow. I suggest you to create three environments. First is Dev. This environment is what you and your team use for day-to-day -day website development. Then the second can be Quality Assurance, an environment that is used for quality assurance testing. Policy might be set such that all changes must pass through this environment before being published to live. Then finally, Live Environment. This environment will host the live version of your website, the version that is visible to your users. Once you have your naming convention established, you can set up custom environments in Google Tag Manager. Click New. Enter a name for your environment with a description. Always check Enable Debugging by default. Enter the URL for your live website. Click Create. Your new environment should appear in Custom Environments listings. Like I created an environment here QA. The next step is to paste the code snippet for each environment against the corresponding server for your website. To do this, click on Actions and then Get Snippet. Now this is the code that you need to paste against each corresponding server for your website. The process for installing the code is same as a container which I have explained earlier in this video. Now when you publish a version, you can simply choose the environment in which you want to publish this version. This is really very convenient guys. That'll be all for today's video. Stay tuned for more GTM tutorials. If you guys want to learn anything in Google Tag Manager, let me know in the comment section. Like this video, also subscribe to my channel for more amazing digital marketing videos. Bye for now, I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, my name is Arpit and today I'm going to show you 5 super cool things that you can do with Google Tag Manager. Let's jump right into it. You can track visible time and hidden time on a page using Google Tag Manager. If you're currently watching this video, then it's pretty fair to say that this page is visible. However, if you find yourself being distracted and switching between tabs or browsers, then this page is hidden. Therefore, Google Analytics should not count this time.